All right, I'm on hole number nine of the Extreme Hills Tournament and Wednesday's qualifying round in the Ricky Division. I'm in my main Ricky account, playing an expert bracket. Let's see what we can get done here. Trying to come in, trying to get a good tiebreaker. My goal was minus 14, so obviously I'm ahead of my goal. Picked up all the par fours, and now I'm trying to get Albie on hole number nine. And this is Groomberg Slopes hole number nine. Now, I've been getting this done with my Prox account. I was trying it out just to see like what the deal would be. And I've been able to get it done where I'm coming in this direction with a Titan, the king of balls. And I think the wind, if I remember correctly, is moving kind of like in this direction. And I've been using the wind and getting over where I'm actually clearing on the other side and getting up into this range right here where I'm in mid short iron with a Titan. I'm going to bring a power four ball because I'm trying to get up here where I'm in. I'm in min short iron. And so to bring, so to do that, what I'd like is, is when I get to the other side over here, if I can get to the other side over here, what I like is a low wind ball. And so I'm going to bring out a Kingmaker X. So I'm going to bring my extra mile. And I'm going to ring up Kingmaker X. Kingmaker X gives me four power, three side spin, three win. And I don't really need the three side spin, but I want the low wind on the other side because in my mind, of the Albi shots that we have, this is a killer Albi shot. And to end around getting an Albi is like, you know, you have that opportunity to, to pick up an Albi on hole number 18, hole number nine. That is huge. And I have 11 of them, so I'm going to try it out with a power four ball and see how it looks. I want to see what the distance is with a power four ball and see what, I, what I've got going. Let's open up a chest. Get some common cards rolling. Clear up my stuff for every day for the prism chest. There was 24 common cards right there. Here we roll. And I really think any power four ball will work. Obviously, a power three ball will work. But a power four ball would work better. It'll get me more out there. So I'm trying to get into minimum Hornet. And I'm doing, I've been doing a 30% wind adjustment. It doesn't look like you're that far uphill from where you land out there. But man, you cannot get close to your rings. It, it's, it's one of those things that's very deceiving. There's some holes you look at and you're like, wow, I'm doing 30%. That's all I'm doing. And this hole, it's like, wow, I have to do 30%. So there's three ways that you can go at this hole. You can lay it up up here at the top. I find that if you're laying it up here at the top, the angle that you're coming in, there's a rough bump that's up there. So the deal is you can bring a big ball, lay it up here in the top so that you can reach the rough bump. Or you can try and blast yourself all the way over. And you can do a rough bump to blast yourself over. So you could bring a lower developed ball like this. They're using the wind, trying to hit it perfect, getting over. Let's see if they make it or if they clip the rough and it just rolls out. And that'll probably put them in their long iron range. Now, here's the problem with that. They just barely made it over the five mile an hour wind. So what happens in the opening round when the wind's 3.9? They may not make it. So whenever you're using the wind like that, unless you're completely clearing an area, it can be, it can be risky. So the way the wind's blowing here, it's I'm almost getting a do. And I want to give myself plenty of room. So I'm going to do a little bit of this action so that I can bring myself three rings off of that sand and really try and blast it out there. Hitting it perfect. And really see if I can get some distance here. Like how close am I in the front? I got plenty of room, plenty of room, and plenty of room up to that sand. So, and the deal is I put myself three rings off the bunker to the right, which put me three rings off the bunker to the left. And I had plenty of room. Uh, I, I'd run out of room over here on the left-hand side, but to the right, if I hit a three ring grate to the right, I could probably still end up in the fairway. But I've got at least a really good solid one ring great to the left or the right. Potentially a two, let's say on the right, and maybe a two on the left, but probably just a one on the left. 
trying to, whenever I'm doing those max overpower shots, my whole goal is to give myself as much room for error. Do I want to hit perfect? You bet. You bet. Do I hit perfect all the time? Hell no. But I want to give myself at least the opportunity to always end up in the fairway. I'm a big fan of fairway to fairway to green. Okay, there's men club. Damn it. There's max. So I'm in I'm still in mid club. So it's 1.3 times 3.8 equals divided by 1.75. So it's 2.8 rings. I'll put just a titch of backspin on. Get right up on the hole. I want to be a little more on this side. It's 2.8 rings. So there's two, eight. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to snap it off. Ah! Oh! I wanted to hit that on the first time by. I'm still getting a little bit too too much run out there. Even if I'd have been on track, it would have. It would have. It wouldn't have gone in. I need to be that close with two bars of backspin. So I'm gonna make a note here. Two backspin. I was really hoping by bringing out the three, four power ball that it would get me more, because with the three power ball, I've been getting kind of in the same area where I'm at mid club. So I didn't really net that much more distance with the power four ball there than I was with the power three ball. But I will say that when I was bringing the Titan, it's only got two wind versus three wind and I'm using the wind. And so the higher wind, just a little teeny bit higher wind with, with it. I'm gonna let my opponent take their shot. I'm not going to practice these par threes. I am I'm dialing these par threes in, and every time I hit a hole in one, I want it to count. I practice them in the practice round, but I'm not practicing them anymore. And we're starting to get a little laggy. A little laggy. All right. That was the Wednesday qualifying round for the rookie division. My 77 account. Let's see where we're at. My goal today was to work on the par threes to try and get my wind adjustments. I'm trying to get my elevation adjustments on all these holes. But my goal coming into any tournament, if you watch my stuff on a regular basis, is I'm a big fan of par fours. And coming in today, my focus is always in every tournament, my focus is always on trying to get, is trying to make sure that I get eagles. On par four, so eagle, eagle, eagle. Those are the those are the scores right there. Minimum score is minus twelve. You pick up an eagle on those three, that's minus fifteen. Okay, that's putting you in the hunt for a win. And just and not in every tournament, but in most tournaments, just picking up eagles on all the par fours puts you in the hunt for a win. And if you can pick up even one of the par threes. Then you're at minus 16, and now you're now you're you're in contention. Hey, you're almost assuring yourself in most brackets that you're going to get a banner, and you're you're putting yourself in a in the position to get a win. And so my focus for the rest of the week is going to continue to be on these par fours, but I'm going to continue to try and dial in the par threes and the par fives so that I can pick up. Because in my mind, a hole in one is a winning shot. That's a banner shot. Hey. An Albi on a hole, like a hole number nine, getting an Albi on that hole. Um, getting an Albi on hole number three. Getting, and I think all three of the par fives have opportunities. As far as my, in my mind, number number nine is my best opportunity. That's my number one opportunity to get an Albi. And I'm kind of torn between seven and, and three. I think I, I think I got a great shot. I think, I really do think that number seven is my second best shot and number three is my third best shot. Par threes, I think hole number one is my number one shot at a, at a hole in one. 
I think number two, as sad as it may sound, maybe my second best. And then hole number seven, or hole number seven might be my next, my next shot at it. So uh, trying to pick up a hole in one or an Albie on one of those holes, but really trying to make sure that I get Eagles on the par fours is, is, I mean, my whole game is kind of predicated on that, trying to make sure that I get Eagles on the par fours and try and pick up an Albie or an, at a hole in one here and there on a round. And those are the winning shots. All right, that was the oh, that was the <laughs> Wednesday qualifying round in the Ricky Division. My 77 account in the Extreme Hills Tournament. Thanks for watching.